Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to record videos using the 2D mode in Nano. As you may have seen in our blog, there are many examples of recording videos of people in VR with mixed reality recordings. There are also great examples of other users that combine custom avatars with mixed reality to give it a more customized feel to the recordings, which we definitely recommend checking out. Usually though, methods like these have a hybrid entry whether requiring a green screen or just taking more time to set up. One method is to use the 2D view of the user's perspective, but that may cause motion sickness to your viewers and may not always show what exactly the user is seeing in their field of view. You may have seen our videos like our COVID-19 and VR series, where we explore molecular structures of the SARS-CoV-2 virus in virtual reality. You can see that in these examples that both the users that are operating the software as well as the structures themselves and this method has a much lower barrier entry and can be done quite easily using the 2D mode. What you'll need for this method is two Windows computers, ideally both of which are VR ready to minimize frame drops and one desktop based HMD. So without further ado, let's get started. We just launched Nano, and the first thing we're going to do is to create a room or join a room. I'm going to go ahead and create a room. My name is Keita and I like to remind users that I'm acting as a camera and that I'm recording. So I'll be adding parentheses camera to my name. Let's go ahead and load a structure here. I'm going to go ahead and load the COVID-19 main Proteus workspace. Now that we have a structure and workspace loaded, if you hit the H key on your keyboard, you'll be able to see all the key bindings for the 2D mode operation. Basically, we're going to be using the WASD, Alt, Space, the mouse, and arrow keys to navigate our environment while we film. We definitely recommend taking the time to familiarize yourself with the basic navigation controls. Pressing the escape key will allow you to hide and show the 2D navigation and settings menus. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera out pressing the S key. You'll notice that when rotating using the A and D key, the camera is rotating about the center. If we go into the camera settings in the 2D menus, you'll see that the movement setting is set to orbit mode. Again, this means that no matter how I move the camera, it'll always be facing the center. We can also change the move sensitivity setting so that the camera moves slower. I personally find anywhere between 0.1 and 0.9 to be a good speed when users are navigating around the structures. I find that this allows the best mix between not moving too much for the viewers while still showing the three dimensionality and complexity of the structures. The orbit movement mode is great if you have one person and one structure since there's typically only one point of interest and it's easy for one user to consistently keep that point of interest in the center. But we know that when there are two or more users, you may want to change the point of interest. This is where free fly mode becomes more useful. With the free fly mode, users can change the point of interest while rotating about that point of interest using both the WASD key and the arrow keys or mouse. For example, in this scene, You'll notice that no matter what I do, I cannot rotate around the small molecule that's next to the main protein structure in orbit mode. When I'm in free fly mode, I can smoothly change the point of interest where the camera is panning around, enabling us to rotate around the small molecule that's not at the center of the workspace. We also recommend changing the skybox as well. If you navigate to the gear icon on the top right corner, you can toggle through the various skyboxes that are available. Keep in mind that the skyboxes that you see isn't necessarily the same skybox other users see in the environment. So if you want shot consistency, make sure you communicate this with others in the scene. This is also the same for showing and hiding the ground. Users can do this by right clicking anywhere, go to settings, show ground. This is also known as the action menu. Now that we have the scene set up, let's record. When you're ready to record, press Windows G. Since I can't record the Windows game bar, I've switched to an external camera recording, but once you press Windows G, this interface will pop up. Here you can adjust the various recording settings like audio. Once you find a good mix, press the red recording button under the capture window. This will pop up a recording window. Once you see the red dot and the timer counting, you're good to go. You can now click back on Nano and resume the camera operation. After you're done recording, press Windows G again and stop the recording. Then navigate to This PC, Videos, Captures, and you'll see the recording that you just did. You can also use OBS instead of Windows Game Bar, which give you finer control over your recording settings and will also allow you to stream. But if you want something quick and easy, the Windows Game Bar is a great option. That's pretty much it. 
Thanks so much for joining us and we'd love to see videos from the community. Uh, please be sure to join our Slack channel and keep up to date with all things Nanum related at nanum.ai or subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thanks.